It's your turn. It's my turn. It's our turn. turn. It's whose turn? One, two, three, four. It's your turn. My turn. Our turn. Get into it. It's your turn. Welcome to... Your turn. I'm Kalina. And I'm Sid. And this show is all about bringing some fun to your day. Today's episode is about making things. Crafting things. Building things. You can make stuff with just about anything. Maybe using paint. Or pencils. Or fabric. Or music. Or food. Or wood. Or cardboard. Making things can be hard and fun. And might not go as planned. But you can always try again. So come on! Let's make it! This game is about making art. Your art might be inspired by the things around you. And in this game, that includes what's already on the page. First, get some paper and something to draw with. A pencil, pen, crayon, whatever. Now, without looking at your paper, scribble a few lines. Try not to draw anything specific, and you can even close your eyes. Ready? Go! Now, look at what you drew. It might not look like anything, and that's great. <laughs> then, trade your paper with the other person. Or, pass your papers around if you're playing with lots of people. Take a look at your new paper. Use your imagination. What could these random scribbles make? Hmm. Once you have an idea of what to turn your scribbles into, draw it. Use everything that's already there, but add on to turn it into a whole picture. I turned Kalina's scribbles into a frog. Jumping from one lily pad to the other. And I turned Sydney's scribbles into dolphins and whales jumping in the sea. <laughs> now you can try again. Turn your paper over and make some new scribbles. Then trade papers and turn these scribbles into something different. Now it's your, your turn. turn. That's right. It's your turn to try out this game. If you made some pictures out of random scribbles, <laughs> go to the website below and share it with us. Today we have a craft for you. Well, we don't have a craft, but Jamie does. <laughs> We're going to follow along and make the craft, and you can too. Take it away, Jamie. My name is Jamie, and I'm six years old, but next week I'm going to turn seven. And I'm going to show you how to make lion hearts. You need orange pieces of paper, but you can make them big and small, and one piece of paper of yellow. Scissors. Marker, pencil, and some glue. Let's start this thing up! Make a heart. And you have your first heart. You need you need a paper orange paper. Then You do the same thing. Now that you have all your hearts, it's time to blow them on. I'm 
for making lion hearts. You can make your own back at home. So you can do it too. Bye. Thanks for showing us how to make a lion, Jamie. <laughs> Here's ours. <laughs> we had a great time making it, Jamie. Thanks so much for sharing. And if you have something that you know how to make, a craft or something else, show us how to make it by going to the website below. <laughs>
we each created a story with a beginning, middle, and end mm -hmm. using all of these pieces. My story started with a leaf named Popcorn who couldn't dance. In the middle, Popcorn got inspired by music created by a DJ named Cactus. And at the end, Popcorn and Cactus became a duo creating song and dance around the world. My story began, I entered a freeze dance competition. In the middle were all of the rounds in the competition, three of them. And finally, I won the competition and a lifetime supply of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are gonna take all of these things and mix them around to mm -hmm. figure out how we can include them all in our performance. And I think our performance should have a beginning, middle, and end like our stories did too. I think so. Okay, here's the beginning of our performance. Our character is a leaf. And the leaf's name is Popcorn. And Popcorn can't dance. Just like the beginning of my story. But then, Popcorn, not Sid, starts entering freeze dance competitions mm -hmm. to try to be inspired to dance. Okay, I think we figured out the middle of our story. So we have the character Cactus, who has floppy arms. <laughs> and Cactus, if you remember, is a DJ. And he has this awesome rhythm. Popcorn hears it and is so inspired that he dances. In a moment when we see Popcorn inspired, it's in slow motion because we want to see how awesome it looks like this. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we have the beginning and the middle of our performance. So let's figure out how we can use the rest of these pieces to make the end. We've done it. We've created the ending of our performance. So, Popcorn was just inspired by the music, and we saw him in slow motion celebrating. He enters the competition and does the three rounds. During those rounds, he does a spin and he ends tiny, probably in a really cool move. <laughs> he wins the competition. Then, Popcorn and Cactus, who is the DJ, become a duo who host freeze dance competitions, and they call them Popcorn Parties. And that's the end. <laughs> so we thought of a few moves to help us remember each section. Okay, do them with us so you can help us remember. The beginning, we're a leaf, so we get our leaf shape. And the leaf can't dance, we're kind of stiff. And then we chose this last part of the middle to remember. That's the slow motion cheering. Yay! And last, we are going to do a high five because Cactus and Popcorn become a duo. Let's try all three. All right. Beginning. Middle. We've made our performance. Thanks so much for joining us while we put all of this together. If you followed along or if you made your own, send it to the show. We'd love to see. And next time, we will be rehearsing all of these parts to create a full performance so that we can perform it for you. Yay! See you next time. <laughs>、frustrating when you try to make something and it doesn't work. It's okay to feel frustrated. Here's a way you can take a moment to feel those feelings and then calm your body. Start by sitting up or lying down. Then, starting at your toes, tense or squeeze all of the muscles in your body. Then, once all your muscles are super tight, count to three and relax. Try this three times. 
And when your muscles are all relaxed, take a moment and notice how you feel. Let's try it. One. Thanks for calming your body with us. For this activity, we're going to make a, a machine. machine, like with gears and microchips and robotic arms. Well, no, like with ordinary things from around the house. A machine that seems really complicated, but performs a simple task. Oh, a Rube Goldberg machine! Yes! A Rube Goldberg machine is a type of machine that has a lot of sections and parts, might look a little funny, and sometimes takes up a whole lot of space, but at the end does one simple thing. Like watering a plant. Yes! Good idea! Let's make one. First, gather things from around your house. Try to get lots of different things, but nothing that could break or could hurt you. Be sure to check with an adult before you start gathering your items. And if you're not sure if they can break or hurt you, ask. You might find things like a box. Or some cardboard. Or a cup. Maybe some scissors. Some blocks. A funnel, maybe. A spatula. Hmm. A golf ball. Some tape. Toilet paper roll. A clothespin. A slotted spoon. Some Legos. Ooh. A rubber ball. Yarn. And knitting needles. Don't be afraid to get lots of things. You might not use them all, and that's okay. Once you have some objects, use your imagination to think of different ways you can combine them and try it out. Maybe the tape rolls down the cardboard. Maybe the spatula rests on the cup until something hits it like this. Bing. A fun one to try is to line up some objects and then roll something into them and see if you can knock them down all in a row. Come up with different sections for your machine, then try them. They might not all work out, but that's okay. It's fun to try out ideas anyway. Once you have three or four sections that work, try to combine them. Then see if your machine can complete your simple task. Maybe it'll work, and maybe some sections won't work. That's okay. You can celebrate the things that worked and come up with different sections to replace the others if you want. Our Rube Goldberg machine took a really long time to make, 
and we found a lot of things that didn't work before we found the things that did. So we invite you to try to make your own Rube Goldberg machine. And if you do, we would love to see it. Send in a picture or video to the show. Let's stretch. Okay. Stretch really tall and really small. And boogie, and boogie. Stretch out wide and really wide. And boogie, and boogie. Curl around and curl around. And boogie, and boogie. Now boogie, 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 boogie down on the ground. joining us on our episode about making things. Now it's your turn. If you have built, crafted, or made something, show or tell us about it by going to the website below. And remember, it's always your turn to try out any of our activities. We'll see you next time. Get into it, it's your turn. turn.